Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Cyril from Dr. Dragon Art Info and today I'm going to take a look at the T34 and this is the American Tier 8 Premium Tank Now, gotta start off with I don't personally own this tank, this is on the test server but we're definitely gonna take a look at this tank I've been in this game long enough to know this tank very very well I've been on the receiving end of this tank many times. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I might not be an expert on playing it. However, I do play this thing quite a bit. This is the Tier 8 American Normal Heavy, so non-premium. So I do know sort of what I'm talking about, because most of the things that go for one go for the other as well. They are very similar, with a couple of key differences. So, I think it's gonna be best if we pull up the details for this one. Um, this tank of course is fully upgraded. Uh, the crew however is in this one because as you should probably know by now you can stick any right nation, right, right type of crew into a premium tank and they will just work. So I can stick my T32 crew in here as you can see in red T32. So this is my full T32 crew which is pretty well trained I would say. Ah, you know great but they're on their way so let's compare the two tanks I mean we can compare to Russians and all that but why would I if I have such a nice close counterpart 1550 hit points for the T32 versus 1500 so it's slightly weaker in the hit point department engine is slightly better on the T34 the weight however is slightly different because the T32 is only 38 while the T34 is 65, so it's quite a bit heavier and you only get 10 more horsepower, which will translate into the T32 being slower than the T34. Excuse me, <laughs> the T34 being slower than the T32. Oh man, these numbers are going to kill me. Um, <laughs> traverse speed, 25 on the normal one, 22. And this is what you'll notice, um, the T34 is just a slower, more lumbering kind of beast compared to the T32. Hull armor, this is where things get sort of interesting. The hull armor on the T32 is actually quite a bit less, well, 20 less, 25 less, which is actually quite considerable. The side armor is the same, rear armor is the same. It's basically the same hull, um, pretty much. Not exactly, but pretty much the same hull. And we can compare the two here. T32, a T32, yeah, T32 is slightly smaller and the T34 is a bit bigger and thus a bit slower so it makes sense turret armor 298 on T32 279 on the T32 T34 wow oh man this is just oh this is horrible I hate these numbers oh this is so messed up so all around the turret is better on the T32 and slightly worse on the T 34 with one exception the rear turret armor is actually better surprisingly so if you ever come across this tank the T34 and you need to shoot it and you have its rear don't hit the rear of the turret hit the rear of the you know the engine compartment the tank itself the hull don't hit the turret it's actually two, over 200 millimeters of armor As you can see here the extra plates bolted up basically so don't shoot this thing in the back of the turret shoot it in the engine way better choice Shell damage we'll compare in a second rate of fire we will. Turret traverse, again, much slower, 18 versus 25. So this really is a slower tank where you need to consider, how do I say it? Um, you need to consider where you put yourself a lot more in this tank. You can't just drive in, shoot, and pull back because you're not really fast enough and your reload is slow. So you have to be, I wouldn't, yeah, I would say a little bit more careful with the T-34. It is weaker, of course, um, almost in every aspect versus the T32, but you just have to be slightly more careful with your placement on the battlefield. So let's take a look at the gun. Gun on the T32 shoots 5.66 rounds a minute, almost 200 pen for 320 damage with 0.41 accuracy, which is pretty poor and 2.3 second aiming time. Now the T34 is like sort of the opposite, it's way slower, has 50 more penetration, so that's quite considerably more, 400 damage, 80 more average damage per shot, 
better accuracy by quite a bit, but the aim time is excessively long. So you're getting a tank that click on the right one. That gets a slow gun, but it will hit and it will more than likely pen. So this thing is a little bit more of a sniper kind of playstyle than the T32, although it's not a sniper because point thirty five is not great accuracy. Just saying it's more of a sniper. View range with 360 is pretty shit. The T32 has 400, so this tank, compared to its counterpart, is pretty blind. Signal range is yeah, good enough. You know, nothing wrong with that. Can't complain about 745. Crew, it's exact same amount as the T32, as you can see. Obviously, sent my crews in here. The loadout, vertical stabilizer, vents, and a gun rammer. As for the uh, consumables, just the same as usual. I almost never do anything but these. The shells are on the expensive side for a premium tank. Usually shells are a lot cheaper, but... 1060 for the shells. Well, let's compare that to this one. 1000. So they're slightly more expensive than the T32. Which actually means the T32 shells became cheaper. Because they weren't 1000 exactly before, they were 1200. So they've actually made the shells cheaper. I don't know when they did that. Hmm. Interesting. Um, get back to this one real quick. The pre uh, penetration with premium, penetration, yeah, penetration with premium is 297, almost 300. So the premium is definitely an I win button with you will penetrate. But they are expensive as hell. So, I think we should try a live battle with this one, we'll see what happens. This is a test server, so I might cut to a replay, but you'll find out in a second. So, here we are on the... what's the map called again? Swamp? Yeah, Swamp. <laughs> I have, as you can see, teamed up with Lola, because, yeah, the plan was to do live record and I really tried. I did about four games that I all live recorded but they were such crap that I just couldn't show you. It would not be a fair judgment of this tank if you saw those games. I just had... how would I put it? This tank because of its slow reload is... I wouldn't say helpless solo but you know what I mean. You know when you're reloading you can't do jack shit. And the armor on this tank is not all that bouncy. The, the frontal armor, the turret is, but the armor itself isn't. So, I, I just had pull over and die teams, and YOLO teams. You know, that died in the first half second of a game, so... That really didn't help my uh, gameplay at all. <laughs> I just found myself... Um, top 5 experience, every single one of those games, usually 2 out of 3 was a top experience for me. And... It's only 1500 damage done or something like that, and loss. So... Yeah, and then Lolo came online and offered to play a game with me to reduce the amount of retards on the team by the very least one. <laughs> so I, uh, of course, accepted. She picked up a D34 as well. <laughs> put on camo. Oh, she actually put on the same camo. I didn't see that before. Um, we put on some camo and we set to roll out. It's something I would do on my premium tanks. I do put camo. Um, it's the tank I'm gonna keep a premium tank for always, so I'll put camel on it. As you can see, the gun depression isn't bad, but it's not great, and I have no idea where that shot went. I was so pissed off, it's like, it went straight into him and did nothing. Not even track damage, nothing. It's like, it, it didn't hit nothing, it's like, what the hell did I hit? Well, it's this thing, yeah, it's enough to go through the frontal armor of it. Damn. That's not bad, of a Farsh 155. I might have hit his weak spot, but I think it just went through his frontal armor. So that's good to know. Of course, this gun has pretty damn good penetration. And we basically, me and Lola, noticed that the base is getting fracked. And I'm kind of debating, because we are, you know, rushing up to their base, I guess. I'm debating, like, this thing is not fast. It's not slow, but it's not fast at all. It, it works, but... I still call it a lumbering beast. I mean, it's not KV4 speeds, but not much better. No, no, can I get a shot? Oh, I have some form of shot on him. 
Where is it? There. Okay. Oh, he's burning. Can we get a cheeky shot in? Yes, we can. And put him on three health and track him. Which means we get a little bit of spawning damage on him. <laughs> so, a little bit of an interruption. Uh, Lola went across the bridge off to my right here. Look, there she is. And I decided to go over the middle here. That way we can box in whomever is down there. And if you just attack from one side, then they're going to have an easier time shooting at you because you're all on one side. Now, if you split up, it's going to be harder to hide from you and it's going to be harder to shoot back at you because you're not right next to each other. Well, that's what we decided to do. And I didn't really want to take a shot at him. I was on the move. Oh, AMX 50B. Take that fucker out. Put one shot into a low roll, actually. 386. I've been actually getting a lot of low rolls in this game. But this is just ideal. Sitting in a bush, 418 meters away, putting shot after shot into a Frenchie. What more do you want? Now, he's turning, going back. We put a shot into him, he's turning the other way. I shoot towards where he's turning, and he's just. I figured he would turn a little bit more and I would shoot into his turn, you know, that the shot would go into his side or into his tracks near the end. But no, and that shot's two in a row of crap shots that just... Ugh. But I haven't tracked, which isn't bad, you know. Oh, oh, 50B, take him out. He's done reloading, he's dangerous. Boom. One, two shot with the two of us. 800 somewhat damage on him. With the two of us putting one shot into him. That's the power of this tank. You have monstrous damage per shot. Over 400 damage a shot. If you have two people doing that, you're gonna hurt them. And Lola here is screaming at me. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, do something, help me. And I'm like, I'm reloading, wait, don't die. And side of the turret, both for a shot and then finish him off with a 600 health he had remaining. And two of these things are just dangerous. I did three of these things, I would shit myself. If I see a team that has three of these on their uh, in a platoon, oh man, you do not want to... Ugh. I mean, three of these all shooting at the same time, that is outputting uh, about 1200 damage every 12 seconds. <laughs> That's just insane. And we got some beautiful side shots on them. Oh crap. No. I will revenge you, avenge you, same thing. Take him out. <laughs> Damn scout. Killing Lola, that's not nice. And we just have the E100 on this side that we can see. Beautiful side shot. No, don't pull back, no, no. Dang it. Oh, coming back, there we go. Where did that go? It didn't hit his tracks, where did it go? The shot went straight for him. It went slightly low, but it should have hit his tracks. What the hell? That's no fun. <laughs> what the hell? Just trying to see if I can move forward here a bit and get a bit of a better shot on him. Come on, come on, come on. Eh. Not a good shot on him. Just barely see him. But I don't really want to move up here. Because I do have a good side shot. And I'm afraid if I move up, which is going to mean that I'm going to move down. Yeah, it's not what didn't go through. I should have maybe aimed a little bit higher towards his turret, turret side there. I think 240 pin should be enough for a stir. Right? I don't know, I don't come across too many E100s. Especially not in this tank. <laughs> Mainly because I don't have this tank. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of waiting. The thing is, I was thinking if I move up, there's a sort of valley in front of me, and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to see him, because it would be down the hill from him. And I decided to move up because he is not moving forward. The Farsh is going around to uh, flank him. You can see this thing on dirt, the acceleration is pretty poor. It takes a long time to get this thing up to speed. The normal cruising speed isn't too bad. But do keep in mind that this is with 100% crew with Brothers in Arms and Vent on it. So it's 120% on the driver. So it might perform a little bit less if you don't have a trained crew. And I I don't know, I think I have off-road driving or... No, I'm training clutch braking on this thing first. So we don't have off-road driving yet. We can improve the speed a little bit more if you get that skill. But... And he's gonna die before I get there, sadly. 
But I would say overall that was a pretty good game. Let's take a look at the stats. Okay, well, I tried a couple of battles, live recording and audio at the same time, but they were absolute garbage. Teams that just, in the first half minute, already died, half of them, you know, that just yoloed across the field. And this last battle, though, was a good one. <laughs> so, yeah, we went with the replay instead, but oh well. Um, first class, not bad, let's see what we did to people. Track, turret, track... Track, track, track. I think this thing likes to track people. <laughs> we got some. Oh, damn, we got 1200 spawning damage on him. Shit. And 55 on him. As you can see, we ended up in a very tier 10 game at the very top, experience wise. We had a couple of people that did quite well. Actually, a lot of people did quite well. I mean, just, just sort of by damage done. This far down is still people on a thousand damage. I mean, that he had a bad game, bad game, pretty for the tank shit game, eh, shit-ish game, and from here on in, they all had good games. So, we had a... And a enemy team wasn't bad, it's not like they were, you know, a rollover team. I mean, it is pretty equal, but yeah, that was a good game. So, how do we do? 14 shots, 11 hits, 11 pens. I'm still not sure why that E100 shell bounced. I might have gotten into his track, I'm not sure. It's hard to see. 3400 damage done. We didn't take any hits. Woohoo! We hit 6, damage 6, we destroyed 3, and we got 1200 spawning damage. For a grand total of 53k profit without premium. And this wasn't even an amazing game. It was definitely a good game, don't get me wrong. I mean,. Mastery badge first class, so you know, it's not that bad, but not even an amazing game, and you make that kind of money. So, this thing, pure money tank, and nothing else. I mean, it's not a bad tank or anything, but this thing is just pure money making heaven. Even if you do terrible on this thing, and I mean absolutely terrible, you still make about 20k. If you do okay ish, you make 30k. Well, on the Super Pershing, for instance, you have to do pretty good to make about 30k. You have to have a pretty great game for about 40k um, profit, I mean, not in total, but profit, um, without premium. Um, you have to do excessively well to get beyond 50k profit. And on this thing, a yeah, pretty good game, not, you know, but not spectacular, 53k profit. So, a lot easier to make money on this thing than on Super Pershing, for instance. If you're looking for a money-making tank, yeah. Look no further. If you have an American Heavy already, like I have, so you can use your crew, so you have a good crew to start off with, or you want to go down the American line, yeah, when you buy a premium, it's always a good idea to take a look at what type do you already have. Like, my Type 62 is the only tank I... it's the first premium I bought, and the only one that I don't have a normal crew with, but my Super Pershing, I use my M4 crew, so that's why I have a pretty damn good crew in here as well. My T-14, American Heavy, same crew as my T-32. And now the T-34, but this is of course a test server, I did not buy this tank, but as you can see, you know, same crew. So it really helps if you already have a crew for the thing, but overall I would say pretty damn good tank. It does need team support, but if you platoon up two of them, as you saw, <laughs> you can pretty much devastate people. Let's actually take a quick look at how Lola did. And by the way, thank you Lola for joining me, and by uh, quite a big factor, diminish the amount of retards in my team. <laughs> At least have one capable player. Eh, she still did 2100 damage as well. So, the two of us did, what, um, about 6000 damage almost? Hmm, pretty good. So yeah, she had a pretty damn good game as well. So that was the T-34, a pretty damn good money maker and definitely a good crew trainer. Thank you for watching, if you like this video give it a thumbs up, if you want to see more please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.